In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this a nice expansion effect in PowerPoint with five different parts that you can compare to each other. It's something different than having just regular bullet points on the slide, and it really creates that dynamic feel of your presentation. And we're starting again from a blank slide. First thing you want to do is you want to change the design. So we're going to change the color palette to that blue, bright blue color palette. Then let's right click format background and give this a nice gradient fill. So we're going to use one of the standard gradients here from that color palette, a little bit light in the center and then gradually darker towards the outsides. Next, we want to go to insert shapes and add a circle on the screen. Hold shift to create a perfect circle. And then we're going to position it somewhere in the middle of our slide, maybe a bit above, just a little bit optical above the middle. We remove the outline and shape, we can use this light blue, maybe one tint darker. Then we're going to create four different copies. So we're going to hold control and shift and we can drag and create different copies. We could put them to the sides. Let's do five in total. Maybe spread them out a bit more, select them all, arrange, align, distribute horizontally to have them nicely spread out on the slide. You can always group them together with Ctrl G and then place the entire selection in the center and then ungroup again. Now we want to give these different shades of blue. So we're going to go for one tint darker every time. I think that gives a really nice effect to your slide. And let's see, that's this one. And then the darkest one. Maybe we'll position them just a tiny bit closer so that we have that overlap and it will look nice if we add a shadow. For that, we want to have send these to the back. So send them all to the back. You can right click send to back. Or if you're working on a Mac, you have that shortcut to send to back. There we go. Select them all and let's give them a slight drop shadow, a drop shadow to the bottom right. We're going to make it very subtle. So about an 80 something percent transparency. I think that gives that a nice touch. Now we'll go to the insert tab icons. And here we want to look for the icons. You can choose anything that matches your topic. I'm going to go for some business related icons and then scroll down. You can find any that you like. I usually like the outline icons for these type of designs. So I'm going to select five. There we go and add them to the screen. I want to give them a white fill and then position them downwards. Let's scale them down a bit and then start selecting them and positioning them in your circles. It doesn't really matter what order you put them in and um, that really depends on the content that you want to share. But let's position them all nicely in the middle. So select all and then align to middle. Now we want to group the items together. So control G, select and control G to group the icon with the label, let's call it. And then we can move to the content of our slide. So we're going to add a text box below. And I'm going to add some dummy text, lorem ipsum, make it white. And as a font, Avenir next, make it a few ticks smaller, center to the middle, and then align it nicely in the center of that circle. We're going to use a bold sub font. So let's go for bold in this case. Uh, I think that's too much. Let's go for demi bold. I think that will look better. And then we're also adding a text box below that with some dummy text and take out some more words. There we go. I think that's quite realistic. Position them as you like and then select both, hold the control key and then shift them to the next part. Hold control shift to create a copy and then do that once more. There we go. I'm going to position everything just a little bit higher so that we have about equal space on the top and at the bottom. That way you get a nicely balanced slide. And now I see I also need to shift those to the back again because with the grouping, I think they changed order a little bit. So we have the left one on top and every one, every other one goes down one tick. And now we're going to duplicate the slide. Select the first one and now we're going to play around with the content of the first part. We're going to select all the icons, go to the shape format tab, align, and align to center. This way they all stack on top of each other. The text boxes, we're going to drag them downwards and I'm going to add some difference 
or a different level between each of them. So they fly in not at the same pace, but they fly in at different speeds. I think that will give quite a cool effect. Now we're going to add the morph transition to the next slide and preview of what we have. And let's play that on full screen. So now you have this opening slide where you can really grab the attention of the audience and focus on that one main point, but then expand to five different points on your slide. And I think this is a cool way to explain five different points, to align them next to each other and really start from that central focus point. So depending on how the presentation goes, I think this is a very nice way to introduce it. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.